you know, yes, we want Monster High. Yes, we want Monster High done right. And I feel like that was executed with these two pieces. I know what you're thinking. Why is she wearing that in November and not in October? Well, first off, I did wear it in October. Side note, I just need to thank Mattel so much <laughs> for sending me these two products. Not just one, but two. Two products for free. I mean, like, I literally am freaking out. Send me these two products for free today to share with all of you guys. Like, I am so happy. And I have to just say thank you so much to Mattel Creations, like, contacting me and saying that I was getting a surprise, which I was surprised because I was like, first off, these are super hard to get. I missed the first two launches that they had. And I was like, okay, I guess I'm just not going to get them. Like, it's just not going to happen. It's not aligned in the stars. Like, it's not going to happen. And then they're like, we have a surprise for you. And I was like, and I was thinking, I was like, okay, it might be this. But I was like, it's not going to be this. Like, come on. Like, really? That's... And then it was this when I opened it at my mom's house and I flipped out. <gasps> okay. All right. Let's get into it. Now, in no particular order, because I think I mixed them up when I put them in the box. <laughs> but they come in these black packages that they sent me here. <sighs> okay. <laughs> and I did good. All I did was look at the outside of the box. I didn't look at the doll yet. Okay. I was waiting for all of you. We're going to do this together. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. So this is the shining one. Ah. Okay. <sighs> all right. Now I'm going to do a lot of pausing here. If you have not seen either of these films, please go watch them. I'm a huge horror movie fan. So I literally am like freaking out. Actually on Halloween, I was like, what am I going to do? I dressed up in this and I literally watched The Shining. So I was like, perfect. <laughs> Look how stunning this package is. I'm so happy. <gasps> okay. Okay. Calm down. This whole video, like literally, Mattel's going to be like, so why do we center this? All she's doing is like hyperventilating the whole entire video. Like, <laughs> I promise I'm going to show details. Okay. So here's the little insert it came with. I'm going to frame this. So awesome. I love it. This is the Grady twins. And I love the little card that it comes with. It says you've been chosen to get a freaky peek, freaky peek at the first ever scream worthy line of collectible dolls collector by the makers of monster high. I am honored. I am so honored. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, okay. So on social media, make sure to check out uh, Mattel Creations Horror Icons, which I don't think I've seen. And then also I need to tag MH The Shining. So Monster High The Shining. I need to do that. I'm going to check that out and see what other pictures people are putting out there. <gasps> oh, so now these are intended for collectors. All right, let's, let's, okay. The hyperventilating stuff. I need to focus here. Sorry, focusing, focusing. It's going to be hard for me. Okay. So with these dolls, they are 18 plus, as we see here in the corner of the box, okay? So this is just gonna be, let's just give straight info here, right? It's a collector doll. Now, you can give this to a child. I mean, it's still a Monster High doll underneath all this, but why the price point is so high on these dolls is because they are collector pieces. They're limited, they're not mass produced like they are, like if we were to get a Fashionista Barbie, for example. Now, these particular ones, it's a set of two in this box and it's $74.99. And then when we go to the next one, we go to like Pennywise, that one's going to be $59.99. Now, I'm not mad at the prices. I get the prices because again, I I understand in a collector world, you're not gonna get this for $20, $30. It just doesn't happen. Especially when they, you can tell they've put in thought, time into this, um, you know, even more than just like, okay, let's make a couple fashionistas. Not saying that they don't put time and thought into fashionista dolls. I'm just saying like this, you can really tell even down to the detailing of the shoes, the materials, the slight difference, for example, in the impressions on the face is you can definitely tell they, they did something. They, they literally were like, okay, this is going to be for a collector. We have to think collector, not just a play doll that also collectors collect. So different ways of thinking there. And I like that. So here's the back. If you want to pause, please read the backing. I do like that they inserted monster high wording and verbiage in the back of the packaging. It says we of all ghouls, <laughs> understand th just how lonely this hotel can be. So they're talking about obviously being at the hotel. It says, come play with us, school. Because of course in the movie, and I'm sorry if I'm ruining the movie for you if you haven't seen it, where they say, come play with us. You know, and they do that. They do that and it's scary and it's creepy and you're like, ooh, okay, um, don't want to go play with you. You know, and I like how they added it into the box. They added words like lurking, beast friend, 
instead of best friend, you know, beast friend. I love that. <laughs> Fang, fantastic. Throwing in some Draculaura words in there. I love it. And the freaky fab. So it's, to me, they're very much, they knew who they were making this for. They're like, it's someone who loves Monster High. It's a collector that loves Monster High. And obviously the world of like, you know, Monster High is the children of, right? You know, we've got the daughter of Draculaura, daughter of Frankenstein why not mix it with a horror element? I love it. I hope they do more. Will we see more in the Skelector line? I don't know. I mean, I've heard mixed opinions. I've heard some people saying, yes, 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 they're going to do it. And I'm like, it depends on licensing first off. And I think a lot of why these two were chosen, why Pennywise and the Grady twins were chosen, was based off of, I think, more, yes, the licensing. Also of Rebecca 13 from Instagram, who if you do not follow, please go follow. Rebecca 13 one of the, on the original team creators with Monster High, um, doing Nephra and Gigi and those dolls, uh, I think these are probably one of her favorites. I think these are her favorites. And I think she had a big part in element, not only the design, because obviously she did design these. I'm saying, I think she really was like, what are my favorites? And I think that had a big influence on that. And for that, I congratulate Mattel for listening to their design team. All right. A lot of chatting, a lot of talking, a lot of opinions. Now the box is tape and sealed, which I don't like because the collector in me is like, don't break the seal. Why are you breaking the seal? But then the like, you know, fan of me is like, break the seal, look at the doll. And I'm like, I know I want to look at the doll and we're going to look at the doll. Cause Mattel did send me this and I don't think they want me to show you the outside of a box. So, <laughs> I mean, they would understand. So I'm going to cut the seal. Oh, this is so hard. This is really hard to cut the seal right now. Oh, can I peel the seal? Can I peel the seal? Ooh, yes. Look at how pretty. <gasps> Oh, I don't want to take them out of the box because look at the background. This is so pretty. And I know we've seen a ton of these pictures on Instagram, but still they're so pretty. And I love how their facial. Okay. So a lot of people have been saying their facial expressions are the same. No, they are not. They're very different. One's like, and one's like, you know, like very much different. The skin tone is very eerie. It's very pastel, very light. And everything about them is so detailed. They even come with a letter, a ball, and of course, a room key. Like, I love this. All right, let me show you guys. Let me show you. And here they are, the Grady twins. Look at the hand molds. They're holding hands, like in the movie. And I'm sorry. I know I've said before, Mattel sometimes with the printed fabric, but not this time. This time they actually have pleating and lace and colors. <gasps> it's too much for me. This is too much for me. This is what I want. This is what I've missed. Look at the shoes because of course there's a maze in the movie and look at the bottom. It's grass. Oh my gosh, it's a maze. And there's a little, oh my God, this is so cute. And even on the letter and oh my gosh, and the ball that comes in. Look at the key. Look at the key. Like this is so pretty and stunning in this package. And I love that it looks like a room. Like, look, if I hold it like this to the camera, it's like you're going down the hallway and look who's waiting for you. We are. And they're like, you know, this is so much. I'm sorry. I'm standing up. Like this is how passionate I am right now. Like I'm just like, Yes, yes. Uh, like this is what we missed from Monster High. And I love on the paper, it says all work and no play make, ah, oh, Jack a doll boy. Which of course, when in the film, he's losing his mind and he went up there to go write. And then his wife sees the paper and she's like, let me see what he was writing. And then she looks at what he was writing and she's like, he's been writing this over and over again. So it's like such a good scene. Oh my gosh, like I can't get over the detailing on them. Like I can't, let's open up the Pennywise one. I have to show you that. Like even to the little axe, axes, to the axe in their hair is just so perfect because of course he goes nuts at the end and has an axe. I don't like ruining movies for everybody, but this is what's happening in these movies. <gasps> oh, okay, okay, let me get the next one out and then we'll, oh. All right, I'm diving in. This is the one that I initially was like super excited about. Like I like both of them, but I was like, if I had to pick one, I'm going Pennywise. I'm a huge Tim Curry fan. And I was all about the first one growing up. Like even I can still hear my grandparents. They lived on the corner, right? And on the corner, they had the little drainage system like on their subdivision. And they'd always make fun of me. They'd always like, who went down there? Did Georgie go down there? And I was like, ah, you know what I mean? So they used to mess with my head all the time, you know? Because <laughs> when the movie came out and everything, it's just, it's a lot, it's a lot, you know? So for me, this is just so funny. Like I, even to this day when I, I'm not even kidding you, when I go anywhere and like, I just think back of my parent or grandparents' house, you know? And I remember even the last times being there and stuff, I was just like, that, that drain, that drain, I'm not gonna go near it. 
and that was me as an adult like ah you know I <laughs> it was such so frightening and it's just so cool that this is like I just love this so much oh I love this so much like this is gonna get framed I love them so much okay the box so the box is very I like the box. I like that the box is not over the top. It's subtle because it's trying to give you that sleek collector look. And I like that. I like that they didn't make it over the top, but the subtleness is what gets me. Like, look, I love the face through the balloon. Uh, hello. And look at the hair around it. Like, amazing. Like, look, oh my gosh. And look at the back. Look at the, oh, I love it. Okay. Let me really hear it. Let me see if you want to pause that. You can pause that. And then I'm going to read a few lines from it. And it says, hiya. Because, you know, he says, hiya, George. You know, I mean, I can't do his voice. Um, so it says, hiya, you're in the loser club. Is my lurking a bit too freaky for you? <laughs> and then they use things like killer style. Are you fierce that you are not afraid? Um, show me your, show me you're a monster too. <laughs> so I love that. Okay, let me peel the little ends off and we can look at the doll. Oh, wow. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Let me flip it over so I can take a look and like talk to you guys while I'm talking about this. Like, I love this one. She's so tall. Now, if you haven't seen my friend Claudina's video, oh my gosh, go watch it. Like super in depth, like super God, like you have to go watch it. And I was watching it and she brought points about like how Viperine's face mold was rumored as the front face mold of this doll. And you know what I mean? But the ears are different. It's like molding differences, but all of these have original moldings. They look like, like the, for example, the Graytons look like Twyla, but aren't Twyla. And then this face mold looks like Viperine a little bit, but isn't Viperine. And her skin tone is like, almost has a pearlescent hue to it, like slight, like very slight pearlescent, but it's still there, you know? And I love the outfit. I See, the outfit to me looks way more gray than what I've seen in a lot of pictures. A lot of pictures I've seen white. This is gray to me. It's so strange. In the pictures, I thought it was more white. So let me show you here. Look at that. I love the balloon. It comes with a stand that helps the balloon float, which is insane. I love the background because, again, if you hold the box like this, look at that so pretty. I cannot wait to put this on my shelf. Oh, and I love the little boat, which of course, if you have not seen the film, you know, it's tragic, but someone plays with a boat and the boat goes down the little gutter. And then unfortunately, Pennywise, is, you know, attacks. Oh, uh, you know, and I like, okay, so this is silly, but I, you know, again, this is me, my like horror movie, like craziness going to my thing. So, so Pennywise, obviously everyone always says he, which I even say he too, because you know what I mean? Like in the form of the clown looks masculine, correct? But I love how in this doll is more accurate in my opinion, because the it, the creature itself is from books and what you study, you know, rumored female, right? So then I like how in this doll, you're getting that. You're getting the Pennywise that I feel like we should be getting because in the true story, well, in the true story, in the story itself, Pennywise is a creature that comes out over 27 years and takes the form of the clown, right? So I'm loving that. Like, and again, I say he, because obviously when you see Pennywise or you see Tim Curry playing it, it's, it's clearly, a you know, a masculine clown. And, but to me, like what I'm getting with this is so much deeper as a horror collector. This is like a horror person talking here, you know, I like that it's a female version because it's rumored that, you know, if you go to the stories, if you really read the Stephen King books and all that, that, that the creature comes down here, it loves eating kids because it likes eating fear. And obviously you're more fearful when you're a kid, which is not true because I'm still afraid of a lot of things. A lot of us are, you know, and that's why, you know, it takes the form of a clown, which I hate to say it nowadays. That's terrifying before ah, clowns, whatever you have them at a party. Now, Ooh, you don't have a clown at a party. And I think Pennywise kind of made that scarier. I think Pennywise ruined that for a lot of children parties and ruined it for a lot of career clowns as well. But I just feel like this really touches in and touches and homes in to my horror fan. And I'm glad that Monster High decided to put that together. You know, they're like, okay, we're going to take the Monster High collecting world and we're going to with the horror movie world. And that's a genius idea because before we've chat, I remember even talking with Robin about this and other people on my channel about this, that we love, we loved her. I mean, I love the way Monster High, the original, not the reboot, but the original was. And I love that they took, you know, vampires and, you know, monsters and this, but then you're like thinking, you're like, I could see like the actual Frankenstein movie, like style, you know, and more of like the adult version, like more horror movie, like picking horror characters. And they did it. 
they did it. And I feel like it's executed very well. Again, this doll is $59.99, is going to be up on Amazon. It was actually on Amazon today. By the time this video goes up, it's going to be a, tomorrow. But it went up today. So it was one of those things where if you didn't get the chance, I'm hoping they're going to still do more pre-orders for it. Because I think the rumor is that they're coming out December 15th is when they're being shipped to everybody. <sighs> I'm excited. Like, this is... I want them to do more. Like, look at the detail of the shoes, even, and everything. Like, oh, just so perfect. Look at the hair. I love it. I absolutely love it. Out of the two, if I had to pick one, I mean, both are designed very well, but my initial grab is for Pennywise. I don't know why. I just love the overall, like the hair and the makeup and the stitching. And again, there's multiple layers of like the fabric, the shoes, everything on this is so well done. The shoes are painted. You know how we always go like, they should just paint the shoes. They painted the shoes, which they should. It's a collector's piece. We should have painted shoes at a collector's piece doll. I love it. I'm interested to see what you have, you have to say. I know on my live streams and other videos, we've already kind of tapped on, you know, this doll and the Grady twins and the whole thing. But this episode, I wanted to make it all about like doll chat. Like we are talking about these toys and these two pieces in particular. And I hope that they do more with this. I mean, it's rumored now they've taken on, Mattel has taken on some more, uh, you know, trademark for like, I think it was, oh my gosh, I already forgot. Watch Claudina's video. There's two in there that I know were that they took the name for already. So I'm hoping by next summer, maybe next fall, we'll get more Monster High dolls. Playline dolls, not just collector dolls. I mean, I'm happy with either one. I would prefer the play dolls because I would like a bigger audience to get Monster High back again. I feel like with this, this is, is for a limited type of audience. You know, I mean, not everybody's going to throw down $60 or $75 for collector dolls. But the people who are, I mean, I'm I'm definitely one of them. I was sitting there waiting to get these. I was like, and the two launches I missed, you know, so I can totally see these are worth it, but they're for a select few. So I would like to see Monster High back out there again and available for a bigger audience for everybody to appreciate it. And if they want to make more collector dolls, I'm here for that too. <laughs> I really am. I really am. This is just so much. So I hope you guys are minding me rant about these dolls. And let me show you the back of the box. Let me show you the boxes again in case we missed it here at the beginning. See, like for these, like when it comes to the collector ones, I am an inbox collector. I, I have to, you know, like even some of the ones that I have that are inexpensive, I still do. Like I have a bunch of, I'm looking at them right now. I have a bunch of Monster High dolls that I literally paid like $10 for but I just can't take them out of the box. They're just so pretty. And the artwork is so pretty. Like, I feel like the photographer in this scene, like it just captured this doll so perfectly. And so just in its character. Ooh, let me, let me get the box here. Like, look at this. Oh, oh, I can't get over it. Like, look at the fabric. You like, I can't, I have to really give it to Rebecca 13 on Instagram. Uh, <laughs> we just talk in Instagram names now uh, to really like, I feel like, honed in on the design but really did a balance of both like I don't feel like either one is lacking I I like even down to the hair colors and the style I feel like they're stylized very very well and even did the detail of the keys I mean you have the room key with the number on it it's like what else do we want to me a favorite piece on these is definitely the shoes I feel like the shoes capture the maze perfectly because that is such an iconic moment in the movie also side note the hotel evidently uh years ago because i researched this was actually building a maze that you can go through based off the movie i need to travel there and take my dolls there and take pictures of the dolls and the okay <laughs> it's like why are you traveling to take a picture of my doll you know it's just so pretty wow like look at the shoes look at the ball like even comes with the little ball that bounces down the hallway i mean i really don't have any complaints i love how they are allowing us to display the doll like this obviously it's gonna have to be a little bit more like this to be on my shelf because i don't have a lot of room but i love it though i really do and i hope you guys don't mind that i'm leaving them in the box to you know because again there's a big there's a big bunch of us that are you know horror fans too and I, from me that's what i'm doing with these is that i'm gonna keep them in the box i love them i think they're so stunning they're so pretty and i love the background and the design of that and i want to keep that i want to keep that so uh, for me i'm going to be leaving them in the packaging if you want to see more images about outside of the package like i said check out my friend claudina's video very detailed very very well informed <laughs> and 
poor, <laughs> like I watch Claudina's videos and I'm just like, wow, those videos are so stylized and everything. Mine are more raw. <laughs> and that's how I am though. I am. I, I like, I love sitting down and just talking. And I think that's a big thing that's important in like toy communities and collector communities is just having open discussions and talking about things. And I hope that also Mattel and Mattel Creations on Instagram appreciates you know, seeing different views. And I hope that you're listening to me right now and going, hey, make some more Monster High dolls because I am totally there for it. And everybody that I've talked to also is for that as well. <laughs> I mean, I feel like in some ways these dolls have obviously been simmering, cooking in the Mattel world for a while. And I think they were absorbing a lot of what we were saying. We we're like, you know, we want Monster High back, but do it right. You know, we didn't love the reboot let's do something better with this. So they took something, sorry. Oh my God. No, no, no. I just spit on the box. Okay. No, no, no. Uh, you know, and then I want them to know that, you know, as collectors, we are here. And even though like some people were saying like, Oh, you know, they're re-releasing monster high and they're expensive, but they're collector pieces. And to me, that's totally worth it. I would rather pay more for the art on something than for something just to be rebooted and stamped out. I don't like that. I don't like that. And now that I'm sitting here, very faintly it says all work and no play makes Jack makes Jack a doll boy in the book in the box. Do you see that there? Oh, see that detail? You don't get that in a $20, $24.99 doll. You get that with a collector piece. And I am so standing for it. I love it. And look, I have these letters. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> oh, okay, so this whole video is just me ranting. And I want, I hope that you took a lot of these moments from a collector and from someone who is an inbox and out of box collector. So I hope you're absorbing all of that. <laughs> and I hope you're understanding all of that. And I, I hope down in the comments, we can have open discussions back and forth about, you know, yes, we want Monster High. Yes, we want Monster High done right. And I feel like that was executed with these two pieces. <sighs> Thank you so much. I mean, that was a, <laughs> I feel like I, I'll edit the video down, but I've been talking for a while. Uh, thank you so much, Mattel Creations. Make sure to follow them on Instagram, everybody. They post a lot of interesting things. I'm really excited. They're working with Kid Robot doing a new Labbit. That's very interesting. If you don't collect Labbits, they're by Kid Robot. They're interesting rabbit figures with mustaches and different things. I mean, they're just, I'm glad that Mattel's like spanning out. They're trying, they're sending out their feelers. They're doing more things. They're being creative. They're being artistic. I love that. Hmm. Maybe I'll have to look at that Labbit thing. I don't know. I just, so many, so many fun things. And you know what? I'm here for it. And I appreciate that Mattel was listening to the fans. I think they were listening to the fans at least. Well, at least Rebecca 13 was, but <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much Mattel Creations for sending me both of these dolls for free to share with all of you today. I hope to still, you know what? This channel was started with when Monster High was out and I hope I can continue through when Monster High comes back. <laughs> Make sure to check out all of my social media. Make sure to throw comments below and let me know if you want to see more collector videos. I want to start doing more high end stuff that I have in my collection. I think I might do some more of those videos because I do have a lot of stuff in box that I don't de box and because I love collecting them in packaging. So I hope you guys are okay with me, you know, leaving them in box, but it's just like the inbox collector of me is just like, this is too stunning. <laughs> Thanks for watching and thank you so much Mattel Creations and thank you Rebecca 13 for putting something in your head out on paper and then into a doll form. Bye guys! Mm -hmm.